Hello friends, this video on basic geometrical ideas part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about the positioning of a point in any figure. Now we often say that okay when we deal with so many different types of shapes it becomes important to understand the position of any point on that shape whether that point is located inside the shape, outside the shape or on the boundary. Now think of this scenario, let's say there is this hut and this is the house of this little boy. So it is his house. Now there are three possibilities that can happen. This boy can either be outside his house, that is one possibility that the boy could be outside his house. The second possibility is the boy is standing at the door. That means neither he is inside nor he is outside. So that is the second possibility. And the third possibility is the boy is inside the house. So these are the total three possibilities which are possible for this boy with regards to this house. In a similar way, when you talk about any curve, especially when I say curve, I'm talking about a closed curve. When you talk about a closed curve, there are also there are three possibilities for the position of a point. A point can be present outside the curve, a point can be present inside the curve and the point can be present on the boundary of the curve. So if the point is present inside the point, it is said to be interior. If it is present outside, it is said to be exterior and if it is present on the curve, then it is called boundary. So basically here we saw when the boy was outside, he was exterior to the house. When the boy is inside, then he is interior to the house. And when the boy was standing at the door, at that time he was at the boundary. So whenever you talk about a closed curve, any kind of closed curve. If a point is present inside that curve, then that point is said to be interior, present in the interior of the curve. If the point is present outside, then it is said to be exterior. And if the point is present on the curve, then it is called to be present on the boundary of the curve. So this is about the positioning of any point in any shape. So now that we are discussing about the curve, let us quickly discuss the important parts of a curve. So as I discussed interior, boundary and exterior, these are the three parts of the curve. Interior, in, in means inside. So anything that is present inside the curve will be termed as interior. Anything that is present on the curve, that means on the boundary of the curve, that would be exterior, uh, that would be boundary. And anything that is present exterior, X means outside. So anything that is present outside would be called exterior of the curve. So interior of the curve plus boundary. So interior plus boundary, these two together is called the region of the curve. Now many a times you would have seen that people might ask that what is the region of this curve? That means how much space is that curve actually occupying? So that space would include all the interior region, interior portion plus the boundary. So interior plus boundary would, would be the region of the curve. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.